Hello and welcome back to another Uncle Tat's Creative Shack video. Today we're looking at the Lego Ninjago set. This is Cole's Dirt Bike, set number 70672. It has 212 pieces and three minifigures. So let's go ahead and take a look at the main build. The main build of this is a pretty interesting dirt bike with a large rear tire on the back flanked by a couple of gold plastic pieces uh, rims of some sort and in the front it has got a tread propulsion so it's really interesting we have a couple of uh, stickers on the front wheel elements here and we also have a couple of stickers uh, on these triangle side piece elements to help round out the detail on the front the blue Technic pins kind of throw it off, but I understand Lego does color lock certain pieces to make it easy for young ones to find, but it does throw off the color scheme a little bit. Um, we, have a, we have stickers on the back of this flag here, and there's one on either side. And the interesting thing about this bike, I think, or I find the most interesting, is these rock pieces on the side. These rock pieces are not new, but they do have a print on them that is a light bluish gray print to give more depth and more detail to the rock pieces. Um, in front you get another one with some katana blades covering it, but it is the same style print and it's hinged on a ratcheted joint. You can see a couple of orange grill detail pieces underneath. And of course, these katanas can be put in any position you want as they are all individual. Um, of note, there is what appears to be a cheater piece on the underside of the bike. It's a trans orange 2x2 two two, uh, inverted tile. And the only thing I can think of is that because the bike itself has a little bit of a suspension to it, a little bit of a spring, um, and that's due primarily to the flexion of the pieces up front and perhaps when kids are you know using it and putting the minifigures on it does tend to bottom out just a little bit so that cheater piece helps you um, protect it from from bottoming out as for a driver well we'll go ahead and we'll put coal in it here this is after all it's his dirt bike and to get him in there and you see there is a handlebar piece here You'll need to be careful with his katana because you would normally want to press his katana all the way in, but if you try to put him in place like that, his katana will end up bending. Um, it's better to lift the katana up a bit and then get him into the right position, and then you can push the katana down until it touches the bottom. Whoops touches the bottom of the uh, bike assembly and then of course his handlebars will just lock into place like that and there he is riding his dirt dirt bike let's take a closer look at him as you can see he's sitting kind of nice and tightly in there his hands do grab onto the handlebars pretty well and he's in a sitting down position so I actually like that um, other styles they've had in the past uh, of motorcycles they force the the uh, Lego uh, driver to be standing because they just can't get the bend correct but this one here he can sit down and because of the detail on the side it looks like he's uh, standing up so let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures the two ninja included in this set are Cole on the left and Kai on the right both of them have some really nice printing as far as also uh, weapons. Uh, what's really nice about these minifigures that we haven't seen in the past, or at least I haven't seen in the past, is their, their headgear. The headgear, um, or the hoods, actually is a solid piece. It's a single, it's a single element. Let's see if you can see that here. Yeah, it's a single element, whereas in the past, uh, the bottom half would have to be put on underneath the neck or underneath the head of the the ninja and then the top piece was a separate uh, piece whereas now uh, like I said these are new uh, being um, a solid unit so go ahead and take that off you can take off the one on 
coal as well. That will allow you to see their faces a little bit better. They've both got kind of a angry face going on there. And his weapon is in the way. This is a built-up weapon. I'll go ahead and take it off. It is a built-up weapon. Uh, just three bricks up front, followed by a uh, bar, and then of course a nice dragon hilt end piece. So go ahead and put that down. This way we can spin the figures around a little bit. You can get a full view of what they have on the backs of their faces, and we'll get his blade out of the way as well. The backs of the faces we have, you know, uh, Kai has got a little bit of a smile, and of course he's got a band-aid on his forehead, whereas um, Cole, the black one, just or the, the uh, black colored ninja, uh, basically just has a smirk on his face. They both have the scabbards in the back uh, holding one katana or holding their large katana and Cole in the front. There we go. Uh, Kai also gets a nice golden blade with dragon hilt. Let me try to get it out of his hands. He's not letting me. There we go. So he gets this nice gold dragon hilt with katana blade up front. As for the baddie in this set, we have what they call a pyro destroyer. This is a serpent head looking uh, minifigure with these really nice bronze colored uh, adornments for his shoulder armor and his shield, as well as his curved blade there. And I'll take off the head and show you some of the prints. His head is nice. That's very tight. It's nice because it's got some trans orange. Let's see if you can see that in there. Trans orange pieces infused with the brown plastic of the head. As well as, if you can take a look at the eyes, the eyes also are transparent orange. You can see them glowing there in the, the camera. Um, so we'll take off this piece as well. Now you can see his prints on the front. It's almost kind of a, he's got some fire as well as what looks like a mummy bandages. I'm not really sure what's up with that, but uh, definitely some neat printing on him. I'll go ahead and put this piece back on. And then we'll put his head back on. Whoa. Get back here. Brand new Lego is very tight. There we go. Okay. So yeah, so that is the villain. Again, that is the Pyro Destroyer. And this set also includes a whole package of these weapons. So you can choose anything you want here to outfit your ninja with. This is really a neat uh, thing to do. The weapons they actually come with are right here so we get uh, Cole gets this built up um, kind of like a, a battle hammer and then um, Kai gets this sword here but you can easily take out these pieces and swap them around for anything that you see here obviously these pieces are to be held in the hands whoops so we get two of those and then we get two of everything else so let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like Okay, now I've loaded both uh, Cole and Kai up with optional weapons that come with the set. And as you can see, so we've got uh, Cole on the left. And I replaced the, the dragon hilt, uh, dragon head hilt, with a uh, longer blade than what it came with in the set. And on the right, Kai basically has just a handheld uh, dagger. And when we spin them around... Cole on the left has got one of those handheld double curved blade uh, assemblies. And then, of course, uh, Kai on the right uh, has the dragon hilt with this time a curved sickle type uh, weapon. And, of course, you do get, as I said in the beginning, you do get doubles of um, those pieces. So you could uh, put two of each in the hands, however you like to do it. I think it's a pretty cool uh, inclusion because. Now you can have a lot of variety in your minifigures. So my final thoughts on this set are, I actually really love it. I am not a ninja fan per se. Uh, nothing against the ninja uh, lore, but uh, 
I'm not really necessarily a ninja fan and the whole fighting and daggers and stuff like that, but I definitely like this set. It is actually really, really great. And you do get a slew of spare pieces here, including a tread piece and a katana for each, a gold and a silver. And Cole wanted to take a bow here already. He's got a very large weapon, so he doesn't stand very easily. <laughs> But, uh, now this is definitely a great thing. Even if you don't do ninja like me, you could, you know, go ahead and forget the ninja altogether and just look at the bike. And that is a sweet looking bike. There's just something about it. I love it. Um, here's the box. Um, again, it's got uh, 212 pieces. Set number 70672. It's actually a great. I think this one was, it was under $20. I'm thinking it was about 17 to 18 I think, on Amazon. Um, definitely good set. Add it to your collection. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.